Hey traders, welcome back to the Reef Navigator Academy. Now, uh, in this video, we'll be looking at the step-by-step -step process of creating an API token on the Reef.com. Okay. If you do not know how to, if you do not know the definition of an API token, I'll put the link in the description. Just go click on it. I created that video for you, whereby I've defined it really, really well. All right. Now. Guys, an API token is very, very important. And if you do not set it up correctly, you could be risking your entire account. And I mean your entire account. I'll be telling you how. All right. So uh, first of all, let's do a little a small recap. An API token basically uh, is basically a digital key that lets uh, bots and automation tools connect to your Deriv account. But if you want to learn more, please, as I've said, I'll, link the, I'll put the video in the description or you can click on the top left, uh, top right, sorry, of your screen. Okay. Now. Let us begin step by step. Now we'll be beginning from scratch without wasting any uh, uh, any, any time. All right. So the first thing is log into your Deriv account. Log in. All right. Don't sign up. Um. Don't uh, don't just use your demo. Uh, okay. Basically, just log into your Deriv account. All right. Now once you log into your Deriv account, uh, you can just use the link in the description to log in. And instead of going uh, to type in the browser, just click on that link and log in or sign up if you have not signed up to Deriv. Now. Once you log in, go to your dashboard and click on your profile. As you can see, here's my profile. Just so proceed and click on it. All right. So just click on your profile and wait for it to load. Okay. And guys, please listen, listen carefully. Because guys, if you do, you, you miss any of these points, you'll really mess up. Now, after you click, um, after you click your profile, I want you to scroll until you see API token. Okay. So proceed and click on API token. Okay. Now, once you click on a PI token, you will see uh, this form written, create a new token. Uh, as you can see, this is what you have. Now, in the beginning, you have read. So basically, you're being told to select um, the scopes um, based on uh, the access you need. And uh, as you can see at the top, you have, you have a disclaimer. To avoid loss of funds, do not share tokens with unauthorized parties, especially the tokens with any of the following scopes, payment, admin, or trade. Now, this this is the scope based on the access you need all right so your token will be basically tailored or based on what you select here as you can see the first one you have read this scope will allow that parties um apps to uh, view your account activity settings limits balance sheets trade purchase history and more we have the second scope which is the trade scope this scope will allow that party apps to buy and sell contracts for you renew your expired purchases and top up your demo accounts and then you have the that scope. Please ensure you go through each scope. The that scope is the payment scope. This scope will allow that party apps to withdraw to payment agents and make inter-account transfers for you. Guys, be very careful with this one. Okay? Only allow if absolutely necessary. Okay? And then you have trading information. This scope will allow that party apps to view your trading history. And then you have admin. This scope will allow that party apps to open accounts for you. Okay. Manage your settings and token usage and more. All right. So guys, ensure you go through uh, each option very, very carefully. Okay. Now, if you wish to give um, a third party app um, access to view account, activity, settings, limits, uh, balance sheets, trade purchase and more, you will select trade. For trade, uh, if you want to just uh, give that party apps uh, access to buy and sell contracts for you and renew expired purchases, again, you select that option. For payments, again, be careful because now when you select payments, you're basically saying that a third party can actually remove or can basically withdraw your money on your behalf. Okay, so be very careful with who you give access to in that area. Trading information. Um, basically, this one will just give that party apps access to view your trading history. There is nothing much about that. Admin, this scope will allow that party apps to open accounts for you. Okay, so they can be able to open accounts for you, manage your specific settings and token usage and more. All right. So you'll just come here and select the one that you want. Okay. So let's say you want just to give that party app access to your trading information. You'll just come and select trading information. And then you'll just come here and put the specific name that you want to name your token. So I can say um, access, access P, P1. You can just put anything that you want. All right. So you'll just come here and put your token name. Now, once you put your token name, you proceed to, uh, to select create. All right. So you uh, select create. Once you select create, your token will be generated immediately. Uh, so this is where we should wait now for our token to be generated. Okay. 
As you can see, there is our token. Now listen carefully to this. Your token, uh, your token will be generated immediately, but this is what you should put into account or into fact. Now, you should copy this token and save it somewhere secure because you won't see it again. All right, ensure you put it somewhere secure. And I mean somewhere secure. All right, so you write it down. Don't save it in your computer. Write it down and put it somewhere secure or save it somewhere whereby you know no one can access it even if they hack or even if they intrude your device. Because I'm telling you guys, once somebody has access to your token, you are doomed, especially with someone you do not want them to access. It will be very difficult for you to to revoke that access and basically guys that is simply how you create a token okay so if you want to share this token you just come and select um copy this token all right just select copy this token and then paste it to the uh, to the individual or to the part that party and please i'll make a video about this be careful when you're doing this and you're done all right yeah so basically guys this is how you create um um a derivative API token, it's very simple, it's very fast, it's very convenient, but please be very careful with who you give access to your token. Okay, and basically, guys, that is how you create a derive API token from scratch. Okay, like if you're creating an app or if you're creating a website that you want to link with, the, with the, your derive account, this can be really helpful to you because it will allow you to, to manage your derive um, website or your derive account easily. All right. Yeah, so basically, guys, that is how you create a derive API token from scratch. As I've said, be very careful with how you handle it. All right. And you will be OK. If you have any question pertaining to this, please put it down in the comment section down below. If you need materials, come to me. WhatsApp me right now. I give you those materials. And if you feel you need classes, once again, I'm here. WhatsApp me and I will give you the tailored classes for you. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and please make sure you share to anyone who you know is interested in trading. And please, guys, subscribe so that we reach out to more individuals and so that we grow together. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Keep trading, guys. Keep pushing and let us meet in the next one.